While modern civilizations extend to every continent except Antarctica, most scholars place the earliest cradles of civilizations. In other words, where civilizations first emerged in modern-day Iraq, Egypt, India, China, Peru, and Mexico, beginning between approximately 4000 and 3000 BC. These ancient complex societies, starting with Mesopotamia, formed cultural and technological advances, several of which are still present today. A great many of the details of modern life, not just in the Middle East and the West, but across the world, have origins that go back for thousands of years to the ancient cultures in their respective regions, says Amanda Podney, author and professor emeritus of history at California State Polytechnic University. Here's a look at five of the earliest civilizations and the legacies they left to the world. Number one, Mesopotamia, 4000, 3500 BC. Meaning between two rivers in Greek, Mesopotamia, located in modern-day Iraq, Kuwait, and Syria, is considered the birthplace of civilization. The culture that grew up between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers is noted for important advancements in literacy, astronomy, agriculture, law, mathematics, architecture, and more, despite near-constant warfare. Mesopotamia was also home to the world's first urban cities, including Babylon, Asher, and Akkad. Mesopotamia is the earliest urban literate civilization on the globe, and the Sumerians who established the civilization established the ground rules, says Kenneth Harl, author, consultant, and professor emeritus of history at Tulane University. Those who know how to research and write run the civilization and everyone else does the grunt work. The cuneiform writing system used to establish the Code of Hammurabi is among the most famous Mesopotamian advancements. They also created the base 60 numeric system, which led to the 60-second minute, 60-minute hour, and 360-degree circle. And it was Babylonian astronomy that first divided the year into 12 periods named after constellations, what the Greeks would later evolve into the zodiac. Persia eventually conquered Mesopotamia in 539 BC. Within the three millennia in which ancient Mesopotamia flourished, innumerable individual kingdoms came and went, and a few empires rose and fell for various reasons, says Podani, author of the forthcoming book, Weavers, Scribes, and Kings. But at its core, the civilization was recognizably the same from around 3500 BCE to as late as 323 BCE, and, many would argue, beyond that. The region was rarely unified, but the civilization was very stable. Number 2. Ancient Egypt, 3100 BC Perhaps the most romanticized of past civilizations, ancient Egypt stood as one of history's most powerful empires for more than 3,000 years. Set along the fertile Nile River, and at one time extending from today's Syria to Sudan, the civilization is most known for its pyramids, tombs and mausoleums, and the practice of mummification to prepare corpses for the afterlife. Harl, author of the forthcoming book, Empires of the Steppes, says Egypt's use of labor to undertake architectural projects, such as the pyramids, was unrivaled. The ability to amass 100,000 men to assemble the Great Pyramid in 2600 BC is just not matched anywhere, he says. The ancient Egyptians also left a legacy of monumental writing and mathematics systems. The cubit, a measure of length roughly the span of a forearm, was key to designing the pyramids and other structures. They developed the 24-hour day and 365-day calendar during this time. And they established the hieroglyphic pictorial writing system, followed by the hieroglyphic system that used ink on papyrus paper. The civilization came to an end in 332 BC when it was conquered by Alexander the Great. Number 3. Ancient India, 3300 BC In ancient India, where Hinduism was founded, religion held great importance, Harl says, along with great literary traditions and incredible architecture. The Upanishads, or sacred Hindu texts, include the ideas of reincarnation and the caste system based on birthright, both of which have endured into modern times. Unlike other ancient civilizations, the Indus River Valley civilization, built in the Indus River Valley, modern-day India, Afghanistan, and Pakistan, does not appear to have been war-torn. 
Historians and archaeologists instead point to sophisticated, organized city planning, complete with uniform baked brick homes, a grid structure and drainage, sewage and water supply systems. The collapse of the Indus Valley around 1700 BC is often credited to migration prompted by climate change or possible tectonic movement that caused the Saraswati River to dry out. Number 4. Ancient China, 2000 BC Protected by the Himalayan mountains, Pacific Ocean and Gobi Desert, and situated between the Yellow and Yangtze rivers, the earliest Chinese civilizations flourished in isolation from invaders and other foreigners for centuries. To stop Mongols from the north, they built barriers seen by some as early precursors to the Great Wall of China, built later in 220 BC. Generally divided into four dynasties, Jia, Shang, Zhou, and Qin, ancient China was ruled by a succession of emperors. The civilization is credited with developing the decimal system, abacus and sundial, as well as the printing press, which allowed for the publication and distribution of Sun Tzu's The Art of War, still relevant more than 2,500 years later. Like the Egyptians, the ancient Chinese were able to mobilize populations to build massive infrastructure projects. The construction of the 5th century era Grand Canal, which links the Yellow and Yangtze rivers, for example, allowed vast numbers of military forces and goods to move across the country. China is perhaps the most successful centralized state in human history, Harl says, and at several points in human history, is without a doubt the greatest civilization that stayed on the globe. Number 5. Ancient Mesoamerica, 1200 BC Parts of today's Mexico and Central America were once home to a number of indigenous cultures, beginning with the Olmec around 1200 BC, followed by the Zapotec, Maya, Toltec, and ultimately the Aztecs. Fertile farmland led to agricultural advances, with corn, beans, vanilla, avocado, peppers, squashes, and cotton becoming important crops. Pyramid-style temples, intricate pottery, stone monuments, turquoise jewelry, and other fine arts have been uncovered. Scholars believe the Zapotec developed Mesoamerica's first written calendar and writing system. While the Mayans are noted for their advancements in mathematics, hieroglyphics, architecture, and astronomy, the nomadic Aztecs founded Tenochtitlan, today's Mexico City, in 1325 on small islands in Lake Texcoco, and the city became a booming market for trade. The Aztecs used a 365 solar calendar along with a 260-day ritual calendar, practiced human sacrifice and bloodletting, used a form of picture writing, and created works of art with terracotta, feathers, mosaics, and stone. The Hernán Cortés-led 1519 Spanish invasion, aided by Mesoamerican foes of the Aztecs, brought the Aztec civilization to an end by 1521. When Cortés showed up, the Aztecs were having great difficulty maintaining control over their subject tribes, Harl says. They were greatly hated, and Cortés gave enough advantage to all those disadvantaged subjects to topple the Aztec Empire. What do you think of these civilizations? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.